Oh! And we are on the air. This is Drake's Crusty Couch. Let me turn this fucking music down a little bit. I'm honestly afraid there you of go. adjusting food while on this couch. What'd yeah. you say, Wayne? I said I'm honestly afraid to be ingesting food while I'm sitting Oh, yeah. Couch. You might need a fucking tetanus shot or something. But a, I was in the Air Force, so I'm pretty much there you go. immunized against everything, so we should be all right. With me, as always, is uh, Wayne Walsh. Two weeks in a row wearing his sunglasses indoors like Elvis fucking Pret. No, you keep them on if you want. I want you to be comfortable wearing, wearing them. I forget I'm, I forget I'm wearing them. That's how cool you are. You pull that shit off. Kristen, so bright in here. Kristen cannot pull that off at all. Sunglasses indoors. It's not going to happen. No, I'm not cool enough. Kristen Wood also joining us today. Thank you very much. Joining us every day. She's the, the co-host. The one with the huge vagina. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> floppy well, it's floppy there's well, a difference <laughs> i don't know what that is but that's pretty gross i think <laughs> it's small but it's very floppy <laughs> <laughs> it's like dr ruth it's huge i mean it could be like taking up a lot of space floppy so is... Kristen, you were about to say a story can we not talk about the chick oh, no, you were about I just to saw mention from work at forever 21 oh, we did really? a little, little shopping together a little 30 minute shopping really thing yeah how did that work i got a shirt and what did she get she got a skirt that was right now yeah you, you went shopping right before you came over here well i wanted to get a new shirt to wear to the concert tonight what concert is that the canes we came from all over. are headlining a show at the knitting factory tonight tickets are free so if anybody wants to go hit me up just, I mean, I they're think, playing at the. I think uh, you show up. Tickets aren't free, but I think like you have to get them from the bands. If you get them from the bands, then you know they'll give them to you. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I can, show, I can just show up for free. I think you could. I'm the man. Mm-hmm. I, I You're can. all. This is all happening because of me right now. So yeah, I'm coming in. Why don't you? Uh, you should come. Do you want to come? Uh, yeah, maybe. You got, you got anything going should on tonight, Wayne? Uh, kinda. I got a to-do list when I get home. Oh, yeah? All my friends are working. It'd be funny if I show up just like You got a, a, honey, a honey-do list? Or a, a Wayne, I gotta do this shit list? Honey-do. Wayne's being... The second. <laughs> he's mowing on some uh, Wendy's hamburgers. Some I'm gonna hot. be... I'm gonna eat some fucking... Wen- Wayne was, ki- Wayne was kind beef. enough... Wayne was kind enough to get us some hot, greasy beef Yay. on his way over here. Which we uh, really appreciate. Thank you very much, Wayne. This is really hard. You'll have to excuse me for uh, a yeah. second. I'm kind of um. That's what she said. Putting it out there that I'm 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 putting it on the fucking social networks that we're broadcasting right now. So you might have to give me a second. Well, in honor of Slick Rick being here. I oh my gosh! I wanted to go to that. I forgot I can about sing that. Sing Lottie Dottie for you. Lottie Dottie. We like he likes the, the party. party. Yeah. I'm not going to. Though. You guys have so we much hip hop knowledge. It's great. <laughs> Hi. For two white kids, I know. Up and roll Kristen's Nevada, like yes. one of the blackest people I know. I am, but I, that's from growing Phoenix, not Beatty. That's for sure. Yeah, I was like the only white kid in my on my block. Did you get a lot of black dick, Kristen? When no, you were a kid? actually, it was mostly Mexicans. Mostly Mexican dick, huh? We had. <laughs> <laughs> see, uh, see what I did there? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Fucking trick you. Uh, but yeah, no, actually, we had some, like, one, there's only like, one family in our block, black family, and uh, they moved away, like, we were friends when we were younger, like, there's two brothers and a sister, and I was friends with a sister, her name was Glory. And Glory, then, like Glory Hole? And, I guess, and the <laughs> brothers' names were Daruba and Jatori. As in Jatori Hole. Yeah. Yeah. All those names. And they are, they're friends with my brothers, they play basketball at our house every day. And uh, then they moved to South Phoenix, which was even worse neighborhood than what we lived in. Moved back to our South our block. Side. Moved back to our block. Uh, I don't know. I was like in seventh or eighth grade. A few years later, total Crips. 
I mean, they had really? the blue El Camino, By the and way, two doors down was this guy who was like in a Mexican gang like a Mexican that gang. caused problems on the block sometimes. <laughs> but they never fought on our block. It's because there's a lot of kids on our block, and what kind of my problems? mom, they were very like the adults in our neighborhood. Everyone knew each other, and they were like, "Hey, no bullshit on our block," you know. So they would like go a few blocks down and kick each other's asses. But yep, that was my my neighborhood. And I was the only girl on the block too. What kind of uh, problems would they cause? Um, Freestyle rapping. <laughs> they didn't. Ca- I mean, harmonizing they didn't cause any problems with us. We loved them. Can. Fuckers harmonizing again. They didn't cause. Ca- yeah, no. <laughs> they didn't cause any problems with us. Like we liked them. They're you know friends of ours and stuff. Um, like my mom, she has seizures, so she has to get she has to get sleep, and you know that's like really important stuff. And sometimes they'd be having a party or something. And my mom would just go over there and she would ask them if they could just turn the music down and they'd be like, oh yeah, no problem. And I don't know, they were nice. We didn't have problems. They just had problems with the Mexican gangster dude. But he was a dick. Like he, even my brother had problems with him. Like when they were little, they used to fight a lot. And uh, so I remember one time, yeah, I saw these, uh, this huge black dude, like huge, like tall, but like thick big black guy and a little black guy walking down the street so a typical black guy and times two. Oh, two, two <laughs> two of them stacked <laughs> on top of each other yeah and uh just just to just to clarify i don't i don't think you can say as huge fat guy as a typical black guy <laughs> that was like if that was the case all the he was like he was about your size the south would have broken branches <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. He went there. I didn't say that. Though. That was Wayne Walsh. But yeah, I don't know. But they got, I don't know. They just got in a fight with anyway, these. Uh, they just got, they would get in fights with each other. That was it. Pretty much. But yeah, we listened so to hip hop. How, and... many, how many black guys have you been with in your life? Never had sex with black guys. Never guy. had sex. I, my very I, first crush was on a cl- guy named just blown Clay Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be probably harder. Wait, what? But, you know, they're. Probably be hard to give a black guy head because they're so big. Yeah, but your throat's huge. Mm. I have. I have a, a very sensitive they're, gag they're reflex. Not, they're uh-huh. not all big. I'll just well, I don't that. know. I've never haven't seen that many. Actually, black I'm not cock. Sure. <laughs> I've. Uh, I think I've like made out with like two and a half. Almost half black. <laughs> His dick was two and a half or two and a half black guys. Guys. So two full black guys and one half black guy? Yeah. Well, I, no, there may be more than <laughs> this that. This sounds like an algebra problem, like, right? <laughs> like, like Obama half black or? I don't know how many black guys I, I've i kissed. Like, oh, or like people, Whitney from but... the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air half black. Yeah. Because she was hot. Who? Whitney? Like yeah. Tiger Woods half black or Halle yeah, Berry Yeah, this one guy, black. he was half black, half Mexican. And... He had oh, the like all... most gorgeous eyes, like these honey colored eyes that stood out. And his friend really liked my roommate. This is like in junior college. She's and... he stole her heart and then her wallet. <laughs> 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 but no, actually he didn't steal my heart. My mouth was uh, full. He had a girlfriend, which is like my one <laughs> scandalous thing I've ever done. One. The truth well, it was before out. I ever had my own boyfriend. Once I had a boyfriend, like Every boyfriend I've ever had has cheated on me or left me for another chick. So I'm very anti being the other woman. Like, I have no respect for that kind of person. Like, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Go find your own fish, you know? Anyways. You um, stole that from Little Mermaid. No, I stole that from a Pinterest. Oh. Uh, but, yeah, so, I don't know. We just I'm made to out. out what's wrong with Kristen. We just made out. figured but, it out yet. But uh, he was really weird, actually. Did I tell you guys this already? He was the one that was, like, just really liked boobs he was a boob guy huh yeah totally like a boob guy Usually so we're black in my, guys i was a good girl i was still a virgin and you know like, like i took me. things slow and so we're in my room making out like literally oh, not yeah. even laying in on my bed we're like sitting like kind of lean back like on my bed not even laying in bed just making out and out of nowhere he's just like show me your boobs i was like uh no not without a free t-shirt involved. <laughs> <laughs> exactly i mean it's like it was so awkward we're just sitting there he's like show me your boobs 
Yeah, it's weird, right? You're like, um, I'm kind of like, well, you have That's to like. That's how it's done, no, right? No, it's like, you have to make me want to show you my boobs. You know, it's kind of, it's not just something that you're just like, The gun hey. wasn't enough motivation. <laughs> <laughs> what? I said the gun wasn't enough motivation. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was really awkward. So I was like, uh, what about, no. uh, I'm not just gonna be like, hey, take a look. What about there when you go. were, what about when you were a stripper? Wasn't that pretty easy <laughs> to show people your boobs? Oh yeah. Money, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I was a bottomless. Have stripper. you like Not what topless. does it take? What does it take for you to? <laughs> what does it take for you to say I really want to show this guy my boobs? Uh, it's like in the heat of the Beats. moment, you know, like like after dinner or what? I don't know. It's like after t- five beers. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's a limit. After yeah. So. I, I t- Two beers, probably not. Give a couple more in me, then I'll, I'm all for it. There you go. But no, I mean, you guys, you know how it is. You got to, and it's in the heat of the moment. And, you know, you don't just like in the heat of stick them right the away. You kind of work your way. Now, you got to butter them up a little. Would you let a guy just squeeze your boobs without showing him the boobs? It still has to be like, you know, not like some, you can't just be like sitting there like, I mean, I've had guys do that like as a joke, like a boyfriend. Oh, so it's okay. I was really just... drunk, and he kept coming over and squeezing well, my boobs. Once boot, they've but... already, yeah. Their once you flag, once you get to that. Oh point, yeah. It's like... But for like first time grab, no. that'd be so weird if somebody was just like, "Hey, so how's it going?" Honk, Did you ever honk. meet Eric the retard? I haven't. No. I've met plenty of retards in my life. He's though. not really retarded, but like. You call him that. Yeah, well, he's he was in the Marines, and he was well, in a there really you go. horrible accident. So, he, he, yeah, he was in the Marines, so he wasn't, like, solving the world's <laughs> hunger crisis yeah. before that. But, no, no, he really nice dude, but he uh, he was in a really bad, uh, like, Jeep accident in the Marines. And so it did a lot of uh, damage to, like, his brain cell, brain stem. Yeah. So like his not motors, a good area to his damage. His speech and and motor skills were really fucked up, but he was still like cognitively like completely there. Mm-hmm. But he would play it off like he was fucking retarded. Nice. So like he'd be like, "Oh, yeah, you're pretty," and eh, like and, uh. and fucking, we took him to a strip club once. It was my it was actually my thirtieth birthday, and we were at uh, what is the penthouse club now? Oh, Kristen Gold used Pinter to work there. Here. Right. She she wasn't working that night. <laughs> no, I had Tuesdays off. It was a Wednesday. Oh, I was there. I was probably wearing my wig. <laughs> they uh, do that, I heard. I don't know. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Hear your story. <laughs> but yeah, it was funny because he was like groping strippers and he'd be like, hey, you're pretty and like grabbing at their nah. tits. And they'd nice. be like, hey. And they're like, oh. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> He's retarded. I see. I, I, I don't totally know. Maybe wasn't. it's different with strippers, but I don't care if any guy was like randomly groping me. I would not be okay with it, no matter what your mental state. What if he was really hot? Like you met some dude at like this concert we're gonna go tonight, and you just like thought he was really hot, and he just walked up and uh, did like a clown horn on your areola. Uh yeah, no, I want. I want like that. <laughs> it's like, dude, get some game. What if you're, so there's not a level of hotness where you'd be like, that's okay, that's totally fine. (laughs) Uh, No, I don't know, I don't think so. I mean, like I said, the the beer count might go down. Yeah, there you go. Wayne, how many times have you been groped by a hot woman and been like, yeah, that was cool, thanks. And it's a really good kisser. Last guy I hooked up with was a really good kisser. And... Oh, yeah, shirt came right off. You were like, check out my boobs. Yeah, I was like, this is why you like me. I got naked on the first kiss. Nice. Yes. That That's a that's a powerful DMV kiss, right, Wayne? be a crazy place. <laughs> 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 Gotta get that registration going, man. Yeah, anything can happen. They got a massage chair in the DMV. Did you know that, Wayne? Really? Oh, yeah, yeah I saw at that the that one here. last time I was there. Well, last time I was there... Um, some lady like this, this bag lady was fucking, she was sitting in the thing, right? But she didn't have any quarters in it, right? She was just sitting in it. 
So uh, they kind the, of kicked her out. Yeah, the security. I, I guess somebody swallow. wanted to sit in it, and then um, with an A. What? A swallow. S W A L L O W. Oh, how do you not know that? <laughs> <laughs> I say it. Don't spell it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she does it. Not. <laughs> yeah, she does it. She doesn't spell it out. Anyway, so they come and they somebody wanted to sit there, but she she wasn't she didn't have any money in the thing, so she. Goes like she stomps away and gets her purse and makes this big fucking scene, right? And she's like, "Out of my fucking way! I got money right here! I got money!" So she puts it in the the chair, and it starts, you know, massaging her and vibrating her, and she's just stewing. <laughs> she's Ew. just sitting in this, not not pooping. She's she's just fucking mad, but the chair is all vibrating and shit. That's it's so like funny. she was like getting the most awkward massage ever. You know what I mean? That's awesome. Yeah. And I'm sitting there fucking watching the whole thing, just laughing. So I've never told this story. Well, I, I told first it time to, ever story. I told it. Uh, I told it to. A, a I first like to hear stories the second time. Last night, oh really? <laughs> so you were. You, you, I don't know. You reminded me of it. You're talking about like just randomly getting groped. Yeah. Um. All right. So, uh, the quick version is. Um, my dad was dying of cancer when I was in basic training. Yeah. So, like, I had a week's emergency leave. So, when I came back, uh, I came back to a different group of guys, right? Fast forward to um, when I was in tech school in Biloxi, Mississippi. I run into this girl who was in my first training flight, right? And uh, I run into her at this, like, sports bar or whatever, this place that the airmen used to hang out in Biloxi. And, and uh, she walks right up to me and she's like, Hey, I'm gonna make you my bitch tonight. Nice, you know. And she wasn't she wasn't like like super attractive or anything like that. But it had been five months since I've gotten laid. Yeah. So I was like, mm, okay, deal. So, oh yeah, let's let's do this, right? So she totally blows her friend off, and she had a car, which a lot of us being down in Mississippi, yeah. a lot of us didn't have cars. They don't have them down there. Well, we we're there for only you know six months, so yeah. like. I didn't bring my car down, yeah. you know. Any rate, um, <clears throat> so we we find a buyer and somebody pick up pick us up some wine coolers and shit, and then uh, we go to one of the beaches there in Biloxi, and she pulls a blanket out of her trunk, and we have uh, sex behind a sand dune there on the beach, and uh, um, I'm drunk off wine coolers. <laughs> she was prepared. I think I she's done this drunk. before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She she was on her game. That's a Mississippi panty dropper so right I there. So I run into her, her friend that she blew off like uh, that night. I run into her friend at, at the fucking store on base at the BX, and yeah. uh, I'm like, oh hey, how's how's Sexton doing? She's like, who? I said your friend Anne. She's like, oh, I forgot her maiden name was Sexton. Her maiden name. Right. Because oh. I knew her by Sexton because that was the name, you know, on her shirt when I first met her there the in Basel. plot thickens. And we all called each other by by our last names. Yeah. So she, in that in that five-month window there, she had already gotten – she had already been married to some guy that she would met and was already, like, cheating on him and, like, the relationship was already falling apart. Yeah. Come to find out that car that she was driving me around in was her husband's car. Ooh. Uh. So, like, I, I start avoiding her and stuff like that. Yeah. Fast forward another couple months, and um, a buddy of mine was, like, not a friend, but, like, we had some common friends. We yeah. didn't really get along all that well. But he's like, hey, a few of us are going into New Orleans. Do you want to go? And I was like, I was coming. I, I, I didn't feel really good. Like, I was just getting over some sort of flu or something like that. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, ah, I think I'm going to sit this one out, man. He's like, oh, come on. Don't be a pussy. Let's go. So, <clears throat> all right, fine. So I get in the car. It's him, the girl he's dating. And uh, she's like, oh, well, we got to r- stop by real quick and pick up uh, my girl's friend. Sexton. Yeah. <laughs> this was all prearranged. Oh, shit. Oh. And I had no fucking clue. You like, are I walked her bitch. into that shit completely blindsided, right? Oh, so yeah. we go to New Orleans and. Uh, we're on Bourbon Street, and we run into this girl that I'd been like putting hella game into, right? And she was, she was gorgeous, like she was, she was just a beautiful girl. And I had been working on it for a long time, and fucking Sexton comes up and is just like hanging all over me, totally fucking up my game, yeah. just totally ruins it. So I'm pissed off. 
So, you know, being, you know, obviously military because of the haircut and everything like that, I found a place that would just give me booze, right, without carding me. <laughs> and, but the, what, they, what they were selling were uh, hurricanes. Okay. So I got this, like, like this big hurricane oh, full shit. of 151. Oh, my God. What are you trying so to So 151 yourself? Slurpee, about that size, maybe a little bigger, actually. And uh, so I just I, – I tear that down, man, and I get thrashed, man. I'm walking around Bourbon Street, going up to strip clubs, asking for job applications, like just, <laughs> just being obnoxious, right, making my own fun. And uh, – because I figured, why, you know, why not? You know, fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll entertain myself. I'm, you know, otherwise I would have had a fucking boring ass time. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I get hammered. We're driving back to Biloxi, um, and I pass out in the back seat. I wake up. My leather jacket, this leather jacket, in fact, is in my lap, like across my lap, and she's gotten in going down on me in the back of the car while we're going down to the fucking highway two people sitting right up front yeah 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 and she's blowing me and i'm hot. like okay Done. so that was like the closest i've ever been to being raped <laughs> I, was, I was date raped yeah by a married woman or maybe recently divorced by that point yeah. i don't know but yeah man i'm like, surprised you didn't get kicked out of the military for what <laughs> just in general <laughs> Well, I did. <laughs> I set it up. But it was six months Boom. later. What'd you get kicked out for? Six months left. Set it up. Six months left in my enlistment. Yeah. I got I got I got kicked <laughs> out for smoking weed while I was on vacation in Mexico. I love that story uh, so much. Like really, I'm in Puerto Vallarta oh, and I smoke a little. Bit. Who gives a fuck, right? How'd, like how who did, cares? You got, how'd you get tested? Did they? Did it was a random. Test? Random. Um. My cousin got. He doesn't. He's not in the military, but he works for. He works for the military kind of thing. Like mm-hmm. he's in the air force and civilian like, contract. Yeah, but they get like drug tested and stuff. Yeah. And uh, he showed up for work one day, and uh, got the heads up, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm really sick. I'm not gonna be able to make it in today." Yeah. Like went home sick or something like that. Military doesn't do that for you. But uh, yeah, looking back, I don't know how random my random drug test really was. Yeah. Because at the time, my wife uh, was um, like the head chef at the officers' club. She was ex-military, um, and while I was drug dealer too, while I was gone in Sicily, no, but she was partying a lot yeah. when I was when I was gone in Sicily. She was partying a lot with, you know, a couple of high-ranking people's like dependents. Like they yeah. had, you know, adult sons and daughters and wives and stuff like that. That. You know, she was hanging out with, and and um, when I was gone in Sicily, she dropped a shit ton of weight. She, you know, like she lost a lot of weight while I was gone, and I knew that she had a Are you blowing in the microphone. <laughs> Can you hear it? Yeah, a little Sorry. bit. She had a <laughs> she had a weakness for uh, amphetamines before we got together. So I, I wonder if she. I think I think she was kind of put me on the radar for my yeah. random drug test. Yeah, they no were shit. fishing to see who they yeah. could what they could find. Fucking bitch. I know. Whatever. What well, sucks too is amphetamines are out of your system in like a day or something. Crazy. Yeah. Like I mean, she she smoked hella weed too. Yeah. You know. I was oh, doing. I had to fart. That was awesome. That's fabulous. Yeah. That's gross. Kristen, you're gonna really appreciate that in a minute. <clears throat> is that my candle I'll still? Smell my nail burning? polish. <laughs> Be like. Is that candle still going? I'll, yeah, I'll Sweet. keep smelling my nail polish. There you go. That's funny you said that because one time I now was in the shower. Like ass and nail polish. I, <laughs> yeah, I was in the shower with this this girlfriend uh, back in the day, and uh, back in the day, and she farted in the shower so bad it was just fucking disgusting. Ah. And throw up. And she was denying it. I'm like, it's there's two of us in here. It wasn't fucking me. Why does it smell like extra strong water? I don't know. It's like the shower and the steam just Maybe intensified it. it. And she was just like, uh, you know, she, 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 like I fucking knew it was her. But she takes the soap and she's <laughs> like, here, just smell this for a minute. You know what I mean? So I'm in the shower just like huffing this fucking smoke and or the, um, the soap. soap. <laughs> And uh, oh, it was so bad. It was just terrible. That's funny. Um, my girlfriend Beth wanted to ask a question, Wayne and uh, Kristen. You can you can have some input on this. Let me. She she had it worded pretty good. Okay, why do guys get grossed out about periods but want to stick it in the pooper? 
Um, I don't have an doesn't easy. Doesn't it get poop on your penis? I don't know. It well, can. yeah. See, so you're taking a gamble when you're messing around back there. But uh, and I've had a couple accidents. Wayne, you ever have any accidents? What do you mean? You know, just some remnants of something bad on the dick. You know, from butt sex. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but there. yeah, and I've I haven't had any like bad bad accidents where it's like oh I'm never doing this again. You know what I mean? Right. It was just like a little bit to be like, yeah, I better wipe that off because that's that's a little weird. <laughs> I, I think it boils down to taboo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's what I'm into it. You know what you I mean? Know. It's it's because you you feel like you're getting away with something. You feel yeah, like you're doing yeah, something yeah. that you're not supposed to right. be doing. Whatever. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's it, on some level, it's kind of degrading. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like so, it's like, oh, you're such. It's a like dirty a territory girl. thing, kind of. Kind of, yeah. Like a, like not like territory, but like a conquer, like yeah. I guess thing. I guess yeah. what I'm saying is if if you're my girlfriend, I want to dominate every place on your body that I can with right. my penis. So, <laughs> my but friend, no, is it taboo to have period sex? And it, uh, it, I personally no don't like it. Why don't you like well, it? Well, number one, I already feel like it smells like pennies. Dirty when I'm on my period. Like it's not like so fresh and so clean. Right. Like always, you know, it's fresh not like and it's so clean, clean. Like dirty or whatever, but you know what I mean. Like like I said about not shaving my legs, you know, it's not like I'm pretty sure the guy was gonna have sex with me whether I shave my legs in the last two days or not. If I have a little prickle, they don't care, but I care. Like I feel like ugh, I don't want you to touch my legs kind of thing. Well, I don't want you to touch that either, Ross. And I had a boyfriend who didn't care. So I was Most just like, Most men don't care. Whatever. We'll get we'll get ours. And it was horrible. Like we'd done it a few times and it was fine. But this one time, it was just like someone got fucking murdered. It was like a it was murder disgu- scene. I was like, I was mortified. It was so gross. Like I we had to go get in the shower, which you know made which was better. But then, <laughs> I mean, I like spent like probably an hour just like scrubbing that blanket and just like. Were you were you more like embarrassed? I was embarrassed, like, okay. and I know it's like not like I did something wrong or whatever, you know. But still, it's I was mortified. It was disgusting. To it was disgusting, and we never did it ever again. Is not a sin. Yeah. So I just See, got so I just got this text from no. my friend. Uh huh. And so he's just like, what are you up to? And I told him after this, I'm going to go home and take a nap because I stayed out too late last night. Yeah. And well, I put Fixin to take a nap. You redneck. <laughs> uh, I was like, Fixin to you're, take a nap. I stayed out too late taker. last night. He put Fixin, LOL, you suck. And I put, but I don't swallow. Ha ha. Like, sorry, in the midst of our conversation, that's like, popped in my mind. Yeah. That, and so that. he texts me back. Have you been drinking? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, huh? <laughs> uh. No one's watching this episode of Drake's Krusty Couch. Well, somebody is. I think there's there's two. Hold it's on, probably my I girlfriend. Make it short. <laughs> yeah, we'll make it short. I kind of want to do this thing. Uh, Let's do a prank call. Well, you guys won't be able to hear it, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to wait until it, like we can all participate in it. So, um... I got to get one of those headphone gimmicks. I almost went to Radio Shack on my way here. Really? I want to get one. Um, If you want, we can shoot over there. I mean, after the show. Yeah, but we we don't have to come back and do it tonight. But, um, like, I want to get to that point. Because I try, remember, I I was telling you, I called called some dude in Bakersfield just out for fucking something he was selling, those lights he was selling. And I was like, yeah, man, you think these lights can help me grow weed? And he was like, you know, it was kind of awkward about it. Nice. So, like, the shit is there, dude. There's fucking phone numbers all over the place, you know. And then and then on top of that, people can call in or whatever. It's just going to add some more inter- interactivity to the show. So Absolutely. I definitely want to fucking get that. And then it'll be the same thing. Like, not only can we do shit with the cell phone, we can do the fucking Skype. You know what I mean? Like we did with Andy that day, so. It's gonna, it's gonna be fucking cool. I think with that and then the lights, you know, we've had this conversation many times. Like, as soon as we get the cool. lights and everything going, it's gonna be fucking dope. But um, and then you'll move. Yeah, no, I'm not moving. 
I'm staying. Because he's in love. I don't know if I'll stay at my current job. I'll probably go to fucking In-N-Out or McDonald's or one of these places because I really like, uh, I like Reno, but fucking, I need something full time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or you can get a couple of part time gigs. I mean, yeah, but like, I'm, man, I'm, I had a lot of gigs coming up for comedy and shit. Like, I don't want to fuck that up, you know? Yeah. I got fucking. Wait, you've got, you've got shows coming up. How many yeah. Actual gigs. I know, how many, but how many I, actual I, paying I, gigs do you get, have coming up? I, one. One. That I booked. Yeah. You're welcome. And, mm-hmm. I'm, and I'm, I'm excited about that one. I'm more excited about fucking. Sammy's showroom coming up. I'm like stoked about that. Just kind of for personal reasons. And um, this is the last weekend that they're going to have comedy at Sammy's. That's pretty awesome. Which you got me that one, by the way. Yes, uh, I did. So that's pretty fucking awesome. And, that's and two my girlfriend, I think, had a little bit to do with it. Yeah. But uh, you got me in the door, you know. Well, had your girlfriend not been I mean, that helped. But had yeah. your girlfriend not been there, I could have been like, hey, how about this guy goes up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'd been like, oh, okay. Yeah. Because I'm the fucking man, Yeah. by the way. And I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> yeah, you are, you are the fucking man, dude. And um, and modest. What else I got coming up? So fucking, uh, yeah, I uh, hook up with this guy. Um, Ew. Dan. I know you like that. <laughs> Dan from Ruben's Cantina. Did you see the flyer this guy made up for me? No. It's fucking awesome. Let me see if I can pull it up for you. It's fucking awesome. You know, off topic, um, when we start Skyping, it would be cool if we could do um, some sort of little monitor that we could see, too. Yeah. Because um, you said you can't do it. You yeah, because then open we would do this, too. like, Skype sexing. Oh, yeah, we could do call that. it Skype sexing? Um, Skype yeah, I could... It might, I'm, it might, I might fucking have to upgrade the software for this though, because there's only so much I can do. Right, right, right. You know, um, but it would be nice if I could like turn that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or at least if I turn it like mute if one the of us audio had a laptop or a laptop could. and set it right down there where the table's at. Yeah. You know, Chris has got a laptop, but um, it'd be wouldn't there of be a, a lag with that though? Yeah, but at least you could visually see like what's going. on. We could on. hear it. We could hear it in real time, but it was yeah. the vi- so w- video. So we mute the laptop. Behind. Exactly. And you could see shit, you know. Right. And it wouldn't be that bad because the internet that I got is really fast. It's fast enough, you know, so. Is it charter? It's charter. And it's High good. Speed. Blazing Fernando, fast speeds. Fernando, my roommate, hooked it up with some super fast fucking cable and shit. It's awesome. But um, let me, sick. Let me pull up this fucking picture. It's dope, man. I fucking shit my pants. Because, like, I'm to- I, w- I don't want to ruin it for you. But I'm like um, silhouetted and shit. It's awesome. Um, I think I gotta turn one. Of these I've made up some off. bad fly- badass flyers in my time. You or Chelsea? I haven't. Me too. Really? Yeah. You guys do some good shit too. I'm not saying that. If we had Photoshop, are... like holy fuck, dude! Like I if got somebody it. could get us a pirate cut of Photoshop, you can have one of my legit copies. Oh, then I can done. use it for free at the university. <laughs> yeah, we could do that too, but then we can't do that in our house at two in the morning. Oh, that's right. true. You know what I mean? Naked. Exactly. Let me find that's when we get day. everything done in our house. It's between like the hours of like eleven p.m. and two a.m. Oh yeah. You know. Where is this motherfucker? It's like when, when the dishes get it. done. That's oh, when my... we do stuff. Gmail. I don't know why. It's because we do meth. Just kidding. Yeah. Oh, I see your flyer that you made. Which one? The one for um, the Fallon show we got coming up. Oh, Chelsea made that one. That one's good. All right. Where That's is good. it? You know what? I'll just go to the uh, It is. It is. event page real quick. Sorry for the delay, folks. But I really want people to see this flyer. I made flyer some sick flyers for the um, show that Dan I used Hubbard to have made. In, it's uh, fucking Virginia awesome. City. And for the let's get Nolan laid benefit, yeah. we made some. I made uh, Scott Herbst and I made a really badass flyer for that one. Oh fuck! I have to bring in a copy of that one for you. You'd love it. Damn it. So Kristen, while Drake is masturbating. Mm-hmm. 
over there. We should, I guess, keep some sort of conversation going. Okay, here it is. Come over here. Ah, oh, fucker. <laughs> as soon as I got it. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm Kristen, you've seen this, though, haven't you? Yeah. Well, I don't think Wayne's seen it. It's fucking, it's pretty fucking awesome because I'm right in the center and it makes me look like a fucking superstar. Comedy at the Cantina starring Drake Nelson and shit. Who are his boys? Um, what is it? MK Ultra and Nutzo. <laughs> I'm not really sure if they're uh, seasoned comedians like uh, myself. No. Um, but we're going to have fun and uh, see how this show works. It's the first time we're doing comedy at Ruben's Cantina. So anybody watching this, uh, if you want to come out and check it out, it's going to be fucking... It's going to be interesting, to say the least, I think. So let's see what happens with that. Yeah. There's Wayne's ass. Ass, 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 ass is. You're welcome, world. You're welcome. Yeah, Dan Dan Hubbard at Ruben's Cantina made that shit. It's pretty fucking good, man. Nice. I have to get one printed out. You, you should know. see the ones for the, the comedy homecoming show coming out. I saw those. They're awesome. That Chelsea did up. Yeah, dude. They're fucking awesome. The one with the pussy? The one with the vagina is Yeah, pretty. yeah, yeah. It's real good. Can you put that up for the viewers? I don't have it. Oh, you don't she have hasn't it? emailed me that or anything. Oh, Chelsea, you. if you're listening, uh, email me that in the next five seconds. Yeah, she's <laughs> only she's slightly busy in Seattle right now. Yeah, but oh, is she in Seattle? Yeah. What's she doing up there? Big ass conference. Oh, really? For what? Uh, her career field behavior analysis. Damn, it's her dude. annual. This is what pisses me off. And Chelsea, if you end up watching this later, I'll fucking say this right now. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> um, a, she, I, I really wanted her to skip this one because we're getting married in two weeks from tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there's a shit ton of work <laughs> that needs to be done between now and then. Yeah. And uh, so there's that. <laughs> the other thing is, is their stupid fucking conference that they have every year. Yeah. Is always on Memorial Day weekend. Always. Oh, really? Without fail. Yeah. It's never on a different. It's always on Memorial Day weekend. So we will never be able to be like, hey, so what do you want to do for this for Memorial Day? Right. That it's it'll it's never gotta happen. be that. It'll it'll all she will always and it's like one of those Fuck. conferences that everybody in their in that career field like feels obligated like they have to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a bummer. It's fucking gay. Damn it. That I'm sucks. trying to pull up that um it does. Fucking That's lame. I have to work on Memorial Day. Only so noon. so you know as I get you know, older and more successful and have more money to spend. I guess Memorial Day will be known as like Craigslist prostitute weekend or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. Knows. Damn it. I really wanted to um show the mm, Or what's the what's I have, a, I have a buddy who's really actually really into hiring call girls. I won't say his name. Actually I probably should because he and I aren't talking anymore and I so fuck that guy but what is it, Red Book or something like that? Red the Book. Magazine? Yeah. I, a magazine. No, comment. there's there's some sort of w- website that's, that's... Facebook. No, that's really <laughs> good for picking up prostitutes online, Facebook. apparently. No, <laughs> it's, MySpace. It's Facebook. <laughs> it's um, Facebook, I'm telling you. Don't you love yeah. that game? Red I List love that or game. something like that. It's not on <laughs> Craigslist. It's it's like a... It's, it's a uh, Website Fuck. more or less dedicated to Facebook. that purpose. Yeah. So sorry, I'm trying to do a bunch of shit and it's not letting me. So last night I went to a really awesome concert. Oh yeah, it was tell, a country tell, concert. Tell, tell, tell what happened. And thanks to a certain somebody, I got to meet Kix Brooks. That that would be me, by the way. <laughs> I her up with guy, some this guy. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh. I had a little dilemma, though, because he said, well, I might have two. I was like, oh, which friend am I going to take back there with me? Because I have my roommate who huge, huge fan and I think was more a little more excited about it. And then I have my best friend there who's a fan, you know, obviously would want to meet him, too. But uh, I was like, oh, I don't want to make this decision. Well, I have to because drunk Ashley just 
did it all herself. She's like, so you guys have another one. And homeboy is like, yes, there you go. <laughs> so I bring it all pissed. She's like, oh, nice. oh, we are not going to be friends for the next five minutes. And I was like, it's not on me. She went and <laughs> did it herself. Like funny. asked herself, but that, yeah, it was really was, cool. That was at Com Row, right? Yeah. Um, and it was perfect. By the way, though, how come I didn't get a hug from your friend with the really nice boobs? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Amazing tits, Drake. Really? She has. She knows a lot. Triple of hot, D's. She knows a lot of hot, hot girls. They're triple D's. I she just told me she's on, brought a new bra. Second. I can't hang out with you anymore because I got a hey. girlfriend. And she's awesome, so I can't mess around. It's not like you ever hung out with me before, anyways. <laughs> what, dude? That's because you hung out with. The I'm actually on the podcast. Girl, right I don't now. like. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, my I birthday know. party. Yeah, she, every was, single... she was at that one, though. Nope. So, she, anyway, never, I'll talk to you later. Neither of them have no, ever been to my was... house, ever. Okay. So, every single DW party. DW was there, right? Love you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Damn. She was, she's cool. Yeah, she is. Ooh, and... Triple D. I have a little bit of gossip. I won't oh, use real names. Really? I'll use initials. Okay. So, uh... Oh, I already know the gossip. Oh, you do? Yeah. DW and JL? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That's funny you said that. We'll have to tell Wayne off camera. Yeah. Well, apparently. <laughs> um, Do I know these people at all? Probably not. But um. But so apparently, I heard Dan about. Lies. I knew. I knew she liked him like a while ago, and um, like yeah, like when I was still editing, like yeah. a while ago. And um, sorry, I'm like trying to dry my nails. Um, <laughs> I was like, were you doing like, your nail polish while me and Wayne are bullshitting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's funny. That's cool. Um. But yeah. So. I had to get something productive done today. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, um, we're not enough. Last right. night, no. my girl, my my, my friends come over forward. before we get ready to go to the concert, and my friend tells me she's like, "Oh yeah, she's like, there's a couple people from your job that come in to That's the bar." Right. You, I think you told me about all that. the time, <laughs> and I was talking about this more. I was telling yeah, yeah, Samantha, yeah. S B and L G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but uh. <laughs> A, B, yeah. and F, and K. I can't um, wait till... I, but I don't want to stop you real I'm quick. Not gonna, I'm not going to say anything. When I leave this job, I'm going to go crazy on these podcasts and shit. But go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. But sure. I'm not, um, not going I, to... I, I'm not going to say anything to her. Like, she, my friend just told me, she's like, yeah, they come in all the time. And I was thinking... I was like, oh, PH? Because he... That's, <laughs> yeah, where, yeah, I, yeah. that's where I met him. You know, like, he goes in there all the time with his family. She's like, oh, no, no, not him. She's like, it's... um. This one girl and this guy yeah, like described them, and, them and, you know and she exactly recognized the one girl are. from my birthday party, yeah. and uh, and I was like, no way! She said they're there late too. Like she knows what the, she's like. Oh yeah, she always drinks Grey Goose <laughs> on the like <laughs> martini or on the rocks and like that. And he always you know has a beer or whatever. And and uh, she's like, yeah, they're there late. Like he'll uh, like they get done at midnight pretty much when the yeah. graveyard bartender gets on, and they'll still be there hanging out. Oh wow! All late like that's uh, funny. They get yeah. all shit house. So well, she like she likes to toss them back. She's she's cool, man. Yeah, no, I really like her. I yeah. wish we hung out more. Hey, can we talk about the whole thing with Kitty Jung real quick? Can we uh, do that? No, no. Uh, uh-uh. why not? Uh, because I still work there, and uh, be yeah, like yeah, we can't touch that one yet. I, I'm just <laughs> saying, if you if you end up she voting for that there. chick, you should blow your fucking head off because you're <laughs> no, an idiot. No, no, wait, stop. We, that one I want to be careful with because she still works there too. I kind of don't give a fuck, but she still works there. We can get but she's she's that. not she doesn't work for your station. She's a public figure. True. And what and went what went stuff. down is public record. Exactly. And yeah, and I we know, covered but it. We and we covered it. Yeah, but. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just don't want any repercussions. Fucker. <laughs> I, I'm not connected with anybody. Hi, my name is Wayne Walsh. I work for Cumulus Broadcasting, oh, no. uh, but I'm not really affiliated with any of their creative anything. I'm just a grunt. And I will go on record as saying, fuck oh, no. Kitty Jung. You think you're above the law. You should be raped in prison. <laughs> by by a. Oh. By a 300 pound diesel dyke with one hand that <laughs> fists her stump into your asshole. <laughs> Using lard from the kitchen as fucking lube. No, Vaseline. Jesus I heard that's, that's not good. Oh, you really hate politicians, don't you? I will say this. Oh, yeah. I will say this for the record. I think uh, 
I think Kitty Junk's fucking if that, hot. If the, and I would totally no, I don't think do she's her. attractive at all. I do. I'm always asking this chick we work with that. She's got like a squished up. face. It looks like yeah. she's like uh, in a fun hot. house mirror. Have you seen the pictures on the on the roads of fucking vote yeah, for they, me signs? Yeah, they're awful. I want to take one because she's you should. Fucking rub one off onto oh, it. Yeah, just fuck her big there head. There is some really attractive <laughs> you can blonde put a girl hole in her mouth. running through oh, yeah. some kind of. I'll talk dirty office. and sexually about her, but I won't talk about like her dying. Her public shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her. her you know, I'll, I'll say this right now, man. If if any what any of us. If Kristen, for that matter, even though she's cute and blonde and gets away with a like could get murder, a, could theoretically get away, away with a lot more shit than anybody else could, yeah. than you or I could. Even if she pulled the shit that Kitty Jung did, she would have gone and she would have spent at least a weekend in fucking jail. At least. Uh, no comment. <laughs> at <You> know, least. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> um. I still have a job. For but you know a what? Though while. I don't think it's just. I don't think it's politicians. It's just who you know. Like this is a this is a big small town, and I just I just think you know the right people. I mean, of course, obviously her position did did play a role in that. But I also well, and think the fact that she threw like that on the you know. table, she's like, hey, um, yeah, you know who wait, I am. wait to fuck with me before I decide what funding you're gonna get next year. Brilliant. Yeah, that kind Some of crap. shit like that. It's a, that's hey, basically Brandon Lara is calling in. And I really don't think uh, talking about this would endanger anybody's job. Yeah, well, it is on man. public record. Well, we're we're yeah. probably going to get off about a half hour, though. I'm thinking 15. Oh, Anyways. Anyways. Kristen's about to take off. She needs to go take a nap, though. It's probably not a good idea. The first uh, black penis I ever saw. <laughs> but uh, I want to put white. you on real quick. I'm going to hook you up to big. the cell phone, okay? Yeah, it was like up to his belly button. It was awkward. My, my girl was saying no, the I'm smallest gonna, gonna penis do it right that she's ever air. seen was on a black guy. Really? Yeah. I think mine's Asian. Yeah. All right, ready? All right, Pretty sure. On. Yeah. All right, we're going to put on Brandon Lara because I've been trying to get him on the phone. But Who's I'm, Brandon Lara? Brandon, Brandon's the uh, half Mexican, half midget comedian who, uh, who's been wanting to get on, and it's hard to get people on because we don't have a random schedule. I don't think I know any half Mexican, half Mexican. You mean we have a random schedule? We have a random what schedule. What jokes does he tell? What's one of his jokes? Brandon, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can barely hear you. Guys. Brandon, All right. can you hear now, me? Uh, they can't hear you, but I can. So this uh, joining us for uh, a couple minutes. Is there Mr. any way we can put him on a speaker? Duh. Uh, maybe. Doi. Let me see. I don't know if it'll fuck with the, sh- the shit. So it bad. shouldn't. I'm out of it today. I should really get more sleepy for right, me to s- do this. Uh, say something, Brandon. Say something sexy. You there? Use your sexy voice. Say something again. <laughs> say something again, Brandon. Just say it. Say it again. Nah, I can't hear you. All you right. can kind of hear him. You can kind of hear him, but I can't hear him. I'm the most important. All right, you still there, Brandon? Thank you, homo. Brandon, yeah, yeah. tell Jake how important <clears throat> he is. All right. We're on the air with Mr. Talk Brandon Lara. How important, important he is to diabetes research. <laughs> <laughs> can you you can hear them though, right, Brandon? Yeah, I got you. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me. Oh yeah, Thank man. You. Now in thirty seconds or less, tell me your life story. Go. Oh, my life story. Time's up. Well <laughs> it's kind of a, a short story. Um it's, uh, it's really not a, a, a big deal. I don't know people look down on me a lot. Should I stop short jokes or? Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Because no one, no one can see you right now. I don't have your picture up. Everybody knows Good. that I'm a. I'm a we want to keep our midget. viewers. The three Everybody people <laughs> watching right now are gonna know who you are. Listen. Um, <laughs> Kristen's whistling. I'm a good whistler, huh? You're a great whistler. You're amazing. Now try it with you your mouth. I should join a band. <laughs> <laughs> try whistling with your mouth now. Kristen's whistling vagina. Aww. Brandon, have you you've met you've met Kristen, haven't you? No, I don't know who Brandon is. You still there? I don't think I do. That'd be bad if I have met him. Brandon, like, oh, Brandon, are you there? Oh, Brandon's gone. That was Brandon Lara in our first phone call that only one out of the three people on the show could hear. I Which think one maybe is probably uh, Brandon, one's you, and the other's your girlfriend. <laughs> uh, one of our, our fellow employees is watching right now. He said he wants to know if uh, we end the show with a three-way. Because if, if we do, it's going to make him puke. 
<laughs> is it does it start with a a T? No, it starts with a D. He's tall. Oh. That one. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know <laughs> that one. I don't want to mention what? his name cuz he makes oh. a lot of money. Is it just because is it just because Drake's involved or <laughs> he, 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 it's very I, personal? I'm okay naked. I look yeah, okay big naked. man, would you mind if uh if I wasn't in the three way? <laughs> <laughs> if it was just a two way. <laughs> He's like, wait, wait, wait a second. But why? 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 This, you're talking about me, are you? Because because I look okay, right? <laughs> Here, let me show you. <laughs> See, this would be okay, What right? if he just wants me, or what if he just wants you out? He just wants to see me and Wayne go at it. What, how creepy oh, would that be? be? That'd how about be just awesome. a one-way? It's a one-way. Awesome. Get rid of both you guys. It must be a one-way. I, um, I, uh, sometimes when, you know, she's at her place and I'm here and I want to talk to her, I'm too lazy to call, I hit the fucking Facebook message thing, uh-huh. right? And, um, so yesterday... You know, her screen's about to pop up, and I'm like, please be naked, please be naked, please be naked. <laughs> One of these times I'm going to get her, though, and as soon as my screen pops up, I'm just going to be jacking off violently. Ew. You know what I mean? So she's, <laughs> like, it takes her a second to, like, figure out that I'm really doing it. <laughs> and she's like, ah, I can't That's watch so this gross. shit. That's so gross. That's yucky. That's yucky. Big D-Man likes oh, that. By the way, Drake like reminded me of... Uh, the drunken promise that I gave uh, about to wax yourself, yeah, or get waxed, yeah. My roommate's not gonna do it. Yeah, see, this is she doesn't want to touch man. your balls, but I'm sure we can find somebody I who thought she was a wax pro. your balls. Look, I got twenty bucks on it. I'm I'm down to throw down twenty bucks on this. I'll ask her. I got ask five her. on it. Ask pay her. her. We can find we will. can find out how much. Like it Like twenty cost. bucks is around average price, right? Uh no. Like your eyebrows your eyebrows wax is like fifteen. Get the fuck out of here. What what do you think? A bikini wax? Cost? I'm thinking that's like sixty, eighty bucks. A whole like Brazilian yeah. fucking balls asshole. They, and they thinking. probably have to they probably charge more for guys. Really? I would. Well, I know you would. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah. There's a lot more unless, stuff to unless, move around down there. Unless they've had a guy recently fuck them over, in which case they're like, I'm going to cause <laughs> it. Uh, I'm going to cause balls this off. dickhead so much pain have right ever, now. Kristen, have you ever seen that done to a guy? Like the process? Uh, like, do they have to spread their own ass cheeks out? I don't uh, know. Yeah. Well, I know like you roll over. Oh, you do it on your side? You kind of roll over and stick your butt in the air. You do it on your side? No, no, no. Like, so just like For jail, the first then. part. Just like you jail. Lay in which there, you're familiar with. And then so. you're like, it's mm-hmm. totally you fine. Put your leg up like this. It's like that? And then, yeah, like kind of do that. From what I, I haven't done, I haven't done before. I could have sworn that chicks get on all fours with their ass up in the air. No, like yeah, and then you have to roll over like on your stomach and kind of put your butt in the air, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. I guess it's a little awkward, but I guess it's amazing because um, I actually talked to a couple girls last weekend that th- they they do like that's what they do. They just they just get waxed every six oh, to eight that's weeks. Hot. And they said the growing out like the first time you do it, it's pretty bad, but after that, I mean, because obviously you shave and then let it grow out for a month. Six but someone told me it doesn't have to be that long. Somebody says oh, it only has to be like it's got to be enough to grip. It has it. to be like a. <sighs> Like non like I don't know like this long she said like it, it doesn't have to be that long so mm. she said it could be like two weeks. You should braid your vagina into cornrows. <laughs> the whole I don't think vagina. I, could. <laughs> I don't think I could. No, make it look like uh. Only be long team. enough. What's your what's your hairy situation right now? Maybe you could like shave it in like like layers strips, strips. like there like stripes. <laughs> I don't know. I think you need one that's make your vagina look like your child Sp- Spreewell. Or uh, Ellen Iverson. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did the whole landing strip one time. Just yeah, switch it up, and uh, my up boyfriend didn't like it. Really? <laughs> He's like, eh, I don't really like it. That's weird. Just like bear. My so. girlfriend's bald, and I love it. I'm not. She puts up with it. <laughs> she puts up with it. The fuck, man. Wayne, are you doing some grooming right now? Uh. You're going to shave for the wedding, right? <laughs> well, not if we're going to fucking... Wax. Uh, wax me on a fucking oh, podcast. Yeah. That's. I still want this to well, go Well, because I guess, so too, bad. I guess if your hair's too long, they have to they have to trim it before. Because oh, it can't yeah. be too long. Well, I could do that, too. Yeah. I want her to do it all. Like, you just sit there like you're getting pampered. 
don't know why. I just want like the you're camera. Getting pampered. I want the camera. Light some fixated. candles. Yeah. You know, I want like contorted. Play yeah. that. Play I, that spa want, music. Like the. It's gonna hurt like a bit. You oh, know, yeah. the running water. I want the flute camera music. just fixated on your face, right? I don't know why. And then, and and then on like we're the having a regular podcast. Face. Well, I only have two cameras, but um. And one of them's always got to be on me at all times. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but um, <laughs> I have yeah, to look at I have yeah, to look at myself. It, it's all my fucking technology. I get to look at myself, but um, I want it. Yeah, just to fucking I want like like a ten fifteen minute segment where you're just getting all fucking greased up, and then like this big payoff. Boom! Ah, uh, pubes go. I'm nervous flying. for you. I feel fucking like skin will go like, flying. Kristen's like dodging you should do pubes you should, and flesh. We should, we should both. It'll bleed. Do it. You said you'd do it if Wayne do does it. it right on the air. You we, did. We say won't. That. We won't show your body or anything, but we'll just show your uh, face. Maybe. Depends I'm how my love life is going at that time. <laughs> I'm definitely not doing it. Well, listen, guys. Why I'm don't gonna, we? Uh, if I'm gonna have sex, I'm shaving. Yeah. I'm not gonna like not shave so I can get waxed later. Just. Oh. oh out there, there you go. So you're going to make a guy wait six weeks so you can grow your so pubes out. So she then, says, like hey, I, said, I can't do it. We know she's been doing some fucking. My buddy uh, Big D <laughs> said he is anti-pube. He doesn't like any pubes at all. No, no creative, shaved. no creative um, no, decorations. No design. That's why he has to Arrows, let his neighbors know that he triangles. moved into the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Landing strips. Yeah. Um. I figured we could wrap this up, but before we go, uh, I wanted uh, you guys... Have you seen the pictures we took when we went to the hunting? No. Okay, well, I got some of them, so why don't we roll that? You guys can come over here for a second. We'll let this play. Bring the mics, right? All right. And we'll do, like, commentary over the fucking pictures. Yeah, I like commentary. And then we'll wrap the show hey, up. Hey, did, did you ever get that video from the fish I caught? Uh, yeah, but I didn't upload it yet. I'll probably do that. Uh, fucking, I'll do that after the show. Fag. All right, Should let's do cool. the damn thing. Come over on this side. Whoa, whoa, don't go that way. See that blue wire? Make sure that blue wire doesn't get unplugged with the computer. You mean the one that I just severed? Oh, no. That could be the whole right. internet connection. Into pieces? And why, uh, watch, uh, watch the cords and shit. I don't know if it's if it's working. Oh, no, I don't think it's working. Oh, it's not playing it though. Bummer. Fuck. Oh well. Do it next time. Um, Some horror. Let me see if I can fix this real quick. This is captivating. I know. Right now. Hey, there's Kristen in my shot. <laughs> Giving me a wet willy. I have a really long tongue. If you could not say that so <laughs> close to me, because I'll get a boner. What am I doing? Player uh, one. Yeah, yeah. Not You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back over here. <laughs> well, well, hold on, I might be able to get it working here in a sec. Uh. Uh oh. Not my uh, boner. I mean the video. Okay, here we go. Okay, come over here, Wayne. I got it working. Oh, it's playing. So these are some of the pictures we took. Did oh, that's, that's my cute dog. dog. Yeah. So there's um, one of my dogs. What, what's that one's name? Zephyr. Zephyr. Where were you guys at? We were at Lahontan. And we, we just uh, Brown. We went camping and took a bunch of pictures and Where shit. Where is that at? It's down by Fernley, right, Wayne? It's south of Fernley. South it's of it's Fernley. like right around Silver it's a pretty, Springs. Pretty good drive. That mm. was a fucking timer a shot. This is a crazy hat my girlfriend bought me. That's good. You got to protect your skin. Oh, yeah, dude. And I'm like the whitest guy ever. So I was on the beach eating potato chips. You are drink. really white. Yeah. I, and I burn real easy. Like, I was only in the fucking sun for like five minutes. I was already burnt. You know, but I was walking around like a goofball with <sighs> this fucking umbrella hat on. Which I love the hat. I didn't think I was ever going to wear that hat. Yeah. But I, when, it, when I I'm it. out in the sun <laughs> like that, I was like, I'm putting this motherfucker on. I don't care what it looks like. I look, I mean, it was awesome. Doing some fishing. There's Wayne with the fish. Yeah, there's the little one that I caught. Yeah, you caught this little one. And this that little fish you caught, we'll see some pictures of it here in a second. He was a little bitch, that one fish you caught. Like, you tried pulling the thing out, and then the thing just died. Here's a lizard we sat on the well, tree. Well, he swallowed it, like, oh, super did he? deep. Yeah. Did like, you just catch it? 
Does lizard no? But this is with Chelsea's yeah. camera. It's pretty we good saw, camera. There's, we don't have pictures of it, but we saw snakes fucking. Oh yeah, no. There, I think oh, snakes don't no. fuck. Do they? Chelsea, fuck? Yeah. Do we do have sex? we do have some pictures. Look at this right they, here. They wind up together. I'm I was building uh, sticks on the dog right yeah. there for no reason, but um, we're gonna have pictures of that coming up. It's like about uh, a minute and a half video or something like that. So these just random shit. But yeah, Chelsea got. I didn't realize how close she got to the fucking snakes, dude. They're coming up. They're fucking creepy. Uh, I was I, I was really close what? to that one at what one kind of point. Snakes? I think they're garter snakes. But they're I don't know. They if look they're like fucking garter snakes. They're, we always call them gopher snakes. They look like fucking oh, yeah. diamondbacks to me, dude. I don't like shit. Well, they look kind of like king snakes. They were black and white. Yeah. Oh yeah, king snakes. We but had kids at my snakes. house. My look how sexy house. I am in that fucking. They were stupid they were hat. more speckled. They didn't have. Uh, Is it white trash of the year right there? Yeah. <laughs> Wayne he- getting my getting my cook on. Wayne went to Hamburger University in college. That's why he's cooking on the beach. Right. Wayne's the fire master as well. Just dug a hole. Ooh, I can build a fire or anything. Really? Yeah. He he did. Like, hello, I grew up in a small town. All we do is party in the desert yeah. and build fires. Yeah. That's what he did. He took a box and put some sticks in it and fucking lit it and we had a fire. It was crowded. I don't know yeah. how he did it. I, like I go like <laughs> I'm probably not good, but like he didn't even have any matches. He like just like start tearing wood off shit. He didn't even have any. Oh matches. yeah, I took the butane stove. You just stove fucking lit it off the stove, and because I, I used my butane stove, and I just lit, I got a stick burning really well, mm. and then just done. Isn't uh-huh. it gorgeous out there though? Yeah, that was it was pretty. pretty. It was pretty much better than the fucking weather this week. Oh weekend. man, Holy dude, shit, it was like it's 80. It's going nice on Monday though. It was 80 yesterday. Today it was like I think it 50? got down to like 50. I don't know. Let's ask some of our friends. Yeah, that's when I still have my beard. <laughs> I blame the fucking weather guy. I don't know if he's still watching or not, but it's his fucking fault. That's such a cool picture that yeah. I took. Yeah, I like that one. You look evil. Damn, where's those snakes at? They're coming up. I didn't realize it was going to play so slowly. Slow. Yeah, but I mean, I did, I did want to capture like how gorgeous it is out there. Once again, this is it was nice Lake Lahontan. You know, people bitch about Lahontan and like you know whatever, but it's it's nice out there. Yeah, I had a really good time. Man. It was cool. I wish my lady would have came, but she had to work. She she's probably gonna have to support me pretty soon, so she's got to keep her fucking job. You better butter up that relationship. Oh yeah. Mm. There's a there's a little That's white still, bass that man, I caught. Man, you caught a big motherfucker. I don't. I think I might have got a picture of that too. You can't tell in the the one picture. I, I wanted about to ask how what are you really doing? big. That He's it taking was. the hook out of the throat, but the fish is dead. So yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, I tried to like swim, be free. And he no. fucking murdered uh, that fish. Yeah, I uh, went f- first time I went fishing with my cousin in San Diego and. I caught a fish and he told me I had to rip the hook out myself. Like if you're going to come fishing, you got to do it yourself. I was like, no way I could not do it. (laughs) There's me cleaning it. Did you end up eating that fish? Uh, Chelsea did. I had a little bit of it. It wasn't bad. I'm still learning how to eat fish. Somewhere in that are snakes. Here comes the snakes. She got right up on it, dude. I don't see him. I think this was my phone, so you can't really see it here. But on her camera, you can totally see it. Where is it at? Oh, there Look at that, on. dude. Fuck that. I took that one. That, that shit was, was so King close. Snake. Look at that. She got yeah. right up in his fucking eyeball. That shit was real close to our fucking campsite. No, thank you. Yeah, they were, I think they that's were all... It. We hear this rustling, and we see these two snakes just wound up together, like rolling they were around. They are snake fucking. Oh, wow. Snake fucking. <laughs> they were snake fucking. We caught snakes Warrior fucking sex. at Lake Lahontan. <laughs> Um, I wanted to ask you though, Wayne, why the fuck did you throw that big motherfucking fish away so fast? You know what I mean? Because you can't eat them. I know, but we could have got more pictures. We could have fucked with it and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I should have. And and looking back now, it was a carp, so I should have murdered it. I should have just killed it and just threw it out there for the critters to scavenge. Why? Because they're, they're useless. Yeah, yeah, they they just It was an ugly motherfucker. They too. breed like crazy and and they kind of they kind of overpopulate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's yeah. areas of the world where areas of the country where they literally have way too many carp and they don't don't know what to do. Yeah. If you look up uh on YouTube, look up uh flying carp. 
Flying carp. They literally flying jump carp. out and shit. Flying carp. Put in these keywords. Flying carp water skiing. <laughs> I think I have seen that. Where the guy's wearing the football yeah, helmet and just yeah, getting yeah. nailed and he's just laughing his ass off. Yeah. And they're just they're just everywhere. They're like AIDS and they just, just <laughs> like infecting our waterways. Which is stupid because we're the ones that fucking introduced them into these waters in the first place because yeah. people are stupid. <laughs> And short-sighted. All right, I think I'm going to call it a day. I need to get some sleep before the concert. I know. Let me um, what kind do of something real music quick. Is it? It's like alternative, rocky yeah. stuff. There's okay. one band that I really like. I think they're called... I think it's Scarlet Presents. Something like that. They're the one... I think they're the one I like. They have a... Their lead guitar player and singer is a, this, like, total hippie chick. Like, you know, like from another time and she freaking wails like she's awesome I and from her. another time I, I really she's like i think she has red hair I think like bright red hair. red hair but i really i really like the like kind of i don't know like classic kind of like have a classic rock kind of sound and and then my friends man i really like them too they're just different you know and that's tonight yeah it's classic rock no Ooh. no no it's not it's it, they're like real bands like scarlet modern presence bands. is gonna like, be there like, I probably like rock should go why? Because there's this douchebag that I used to be friends with that'll probably try to start a fight with me if I show up. What's his name? <laughs> I'll Rustin fuck him up. Abraham. Oh, well, I can totally kick bag. his ass. <laughs> well, then, and we'll have Drake there. He's yeah. a bodyguard. He'll Pretty just, he he'll just be some sort of kung scare him off. Master, fucking way totally into kung fu and shit. Up. No, I think you should come. Think about it. I'll think about yeah, it. Yeah, your old lady's out of town, man. I know. Mine's working. Get out of the house. Even when she is in town, though, she doesn't care if I want to go do shit. Yeah. I just... So, yeah, then I'll see you there. All right. I'm well, going to probably um, leave my house like 8. I want to get there by like 8.30. All right. And then... You gotta, I think you it gotta, starts like it starts at 8, but I don't know. Like I'll probably get, Maybe I'll get there at 8. You got a ticket for me? Um, Greg's going to give them to me when we get there. Sweet. At the door. All right, we'll... Call me on your way over and I'll meet you. Anybody else want to come? Let me know. Hit up hit up Christian Wood Free on tickets, Facebook. More the merrier. Um, but there's six dollars at the door. You have to get them from the band. Okay. If you want to get them for free. Nice. Or someone are they just giving them away or what? Yeah, you like they have like stacks of tickets. I he gave me some like a few weeks ago. I don't know what happened to him, but he, like literally like a stack of tickets, and he's just like. Here, nice. here's a few for you. Here's a few for you. Nice. Just hand, just giving them away. So I found like. 30 kicks brooks tickets in my box this morning i didn't know were there oh, oh really damn you yeah. could have scalped them there were ten dollars <laughs> how many people do you think were actually there at that show last night i don't know i think it was a pretty good sized crowd well do you think they were probably at about half capacity though maybe yeah like it was definitely fuller than some other concerts i've been to there so they were hoping there were going to be a lot of people there but you don't think it's as much as they were hoping for? No. I, I for Kicks Brooks, you would think, I don't know, you would think it'd be pretty big. Like, I mean, he's, I mean, it's not Brooks and Dunn, but still, that's half of Brooks and Dunn. Like, yeah. and they, I mean, their concerts are like huge, like eighty dollar cheap seats. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. re- like big time. You know, and and you know, like I don't know, they won all these awards and all this stuff. Like, so you would think, and he freaking rocked. Like he, like he it's told us show. when we met him, he yeah, he was like. You know, my roommate, she's like, I've been to three of your shows already, you know, with your other half. And I was like, but you're my favorite half, you know, because I, I like him better. And uh, yeah. And he's like, well, he's like, I hope you girls ready to party. It's going to be a party tonight. And um, <laughs> and yeah, I mean, he was like on and, full and then blast Kristen the snorted whole time. a line off his penis. <laughs> he shaves. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so let me do good. a line off your boner. Awesome. It's good. Listen, uh, all right, let's get out of here. Uh, Wayne, you got any plugs that you'd like to shout out? Um, Third Street, always. Uh, in yeah. fact, last show, before we before we get off, last show was really good. We had three special guests from Sacramento yeah, and one from it. San Francisco. What I think was it was that? one of the best nights I've been what to. What was there. that the dude who fucking rocked? The big guy, bald guy? Shane I, Murphy, I, yeah, I I've Shane, known him friend, for a really long time. My friend requested that dude. That dude fucking murdered. Yeah, he's he's, that he's dude, cool. It's funny. The other guys were good too. Yeah, I feel bad for Misha because Misha had to follow that guy. Oh man. Yeah. He I, I almost murdered. didn't put him up, but he did so well the last time he went up. So I was like, Who, yeah. Misha? Yeah. Oh yeah. 
but yeah, he, so. he had to follow. Uh, what's his name? Shane. Murphy. Shane. He had to follow Shane Murphy. And he he started like, about the same time I did. Really? Actually, yeah. yeah, that guy's good, man. He He's was good. real good. I, fuck, he was telling Stead jokes. I don't know. You, fuck. How do you come up with material on a fucking Stead, man? I didn't know he was from here. Yeah, me neither. And it was great. I love that. Fu- what was he talking about? Man, if Spider-Man lived in Stead, he wouldn't be able to fight shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, right. great, man. It was fucking <laughs> brilliant. That dude's funny. Hook him up. Look him up on Facebook if you can. Um, I'm going to try to see if he wants to come down and do Fallon next month because I don't have a headliner. This guy right here. Shut the fuck up. What? You're featuring, you're featuring this month. I'm not going to have you feature and then come back the next month and, and do an, uh, do an right, hour. All right. Not to mention you're not, you're not fucking ready to oh, do an hour. On. Just Drake. throw me out. I think I can bullshit my way through an hour. <laughs> That's I got a exactly half hour bullshit. of good. Bullshit of, and, and doing well are I got two entirely good, different fucking things. I got a really good. All right, I'm going to fi- go. I got good 15. I can go 25. But I can bullshit my way through an hour. <laughs> I can bullshit my way through two. I know you can. It would be awful. It would but be awful, but I could probably I do it. I just want to see what the time feels like, I think. You know what I mean? It's it's not fun. If you're if you're not prepared, it's not fun, I bet. Even no. when you are. I mean, like yeah. the last hour I did. Oh, fuck, man! It was it was work, dude. Yeah, it was I bet. work, man. I bet. Well, you were telling me that they weren't very well responsive either, right? Well, they were a good audience. They were laughing. They were paying attention, but they yeah. were. I couldn't get any crowd work out right. of them. Yeah. Like they were giving me nothing to fucking work. Yeah, with. and that's what I'm betting on. Like that's what I want is some. Like if they're not coming back, I'll be like, it's been twenty. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, the, and you know they're I mean? they're they're a very quiet, polite audience yeah. for the most part. So doing crowd work with them's hard. Yeah, too. that's rough. You've got to have so. that material. Um, all right, Kristen's going to take off. I'm going to take off. Kristen. I'm going to uh, finish up these plugs. Kristen, thanks a lot for coming. I'll see you later. Give me a call on your way out and shit. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, yeah, do we have any other plugs? Oh, Fallon. We've got the show in Fallon coming Fallon, up. Fallon, June 2nd at the Daily Grind. Oh, and um, the night before my wedding, uh, we have a great, 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 great show coming up at 3rd Street. It'll be a Friday night. And uh, basically, since a, lo- a lot of my friends are, most of my friends are comics, um, a few of them that have started in Reno and, and are very good and left to go do other, move to other places, uh, are going to be in town yeah. for the wedding. So we figured, hey, we should have a show. So uh, Christian Reyes is going to be there. Tim Dufresne's going to be there. Um, Scott Herbst, PK Hutchinson, Jordan Garney. Uh, Andy Garcia will be there, so really, really great lineup for that one. Who's uh just? I'm just throwing this out. Who's who's hosting? If you don't uh, mind me asking, it'll probably be me. Yeah. I mean that's cool, you know, because I'm well, not okay, technically here, on the show. Look here, fucker. I know. <laughs> I'm just look fucking here. with you. There's dude, gonna be people in you town. You hooked me up, and I'm just fucking with you. There's gonna seriously. be people in town that, uh, you know, like our relatives and stuff like that that have never seen me perform. Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. So. Okay. Like I have to do some time. Oh yeah. For them. Yeah. I'm just literally you know. just fucking with you because. Uh, you fucking have been overly generous to me, man. You know how humble I am and shit, so I really Word. appreciate it. I'm going to be there anyway. It's going to be a hell of a show. It, um, it it will be really good. I mean, if uh, Tim Dufresne and Christian Reyes are like two of the most talented people I've ever worked around. Oh, They're yeah. They're very good. And, and PK and Jordan always bring a shit ton of friends. Oh, out. yeah. So it should be overall one of the best shows that's ever been on that stage. I don't and think there's I've been some great shows. I there. don't think I've ever seen Christian Reyes perform. He's funny, man. Yeah, that's what I hear. He's funny. And he's in the BJJ. Um, and then we're doing an after party after the wedding too, right? Right. Yeah, and I think Un- drinking. I think drinking with clowns Are is going to be performing that night. Yeah. So that'll be fun. So I can't get any time that night either, huh? I mean, that's that's cool, man. You know, I'm if 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 Mario <laughs> if Mario was still part of drinking with clowns, I could have gotten us time. Oh yeah, but he's not anymore. What kind, he of, left. What kind of music is drinking with clowns? Kind of like ska-ish hip hop, mostly ska. Yeah, 
but they're fun. They're 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 party band. Yeah, they're party band. Good shit. I'm looking forward to that, man. Um, so uh, any more plugs, Wayne? Um, because I have a bunch. Yeah, Fallon at the Daily Grind. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, oh, two days before the wedding, I'll be uh doing an hour again at Winnemu- in Winnemucca at Winter's oh, Casino. Oh, really? You are doing that? Yeah, I am doing nice. that. So, I thought you weren't uh, sure on it. Yeah, he, he. I don't. I think what 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 happened was is is he had a cancellation on a different week. Yeah, yeah. So um, he moved the people that are going to be there um, the week that I'm going to be there to the cover of the empty week, and I'm because I could I can't do it the the week after that or two weeks after that, whatever yeah. it is, whatever week that he needed to fill. Yeah, I wasn't going to be available, so. Um, he moved the people that are going to be there on the 7th to the 18th or whatever it is, whatever week that he needed to fill, moved them to that week and put me in there. Yeah. So, you know who the, uh, you know who the other guy is? I don't actually, we could probably look it up right now. I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> well, we'll look it up. At, we'll look it up, uh, after, as soon as we quit rolling yeah. camera. Cause I, I kind of want to know who it is actually. Yeah. All right. See um, if it's up. So I got some plugs too. <clears throat> so and most of these are uh, fucking Pioneer Underground. Yeah. Well, these are. Uh, I got these because Wayne Walsh is awesome. But um, tomorrow I'm gonna be at the Pioneer Underground doing a uh, a guest set, and I don't try not fucking. I can't remember. Who's the headliner? I can't remember. <laughs> It's not me, so I don't care. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not like Huck Flynn. I can't remember, but um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that nine o'clock or yeah, doors open at nine, shows at nine thirty. Uh, next Thursday, I will be at Sammy's showroom at Harris, eight o'clock show. That'd be fucking awesome. You can check that out. Of course, there's um, June second, Daily Grind. Wayne already told you about. Then we got uh, June eighth. Is the finals of the com- the fucking Olympiad at uh, Pioneer Underground, which I'm probably gonna win because I'm fucking awesome. Uh, wait, that's <laughs> that's right by the. Um, wait, June eighth, right? Yeah, that's the night of the. So, you won't be able to go to the show with Christian Christian Reyes because that's that night. That's the night before the wedding. Oh fuck, that's right. Yeah. Uh, okay. So right, don't don't out. come to that show. Come <laughs> to the show at fucking Third Street. Because <laughs> the people that are gonna be at the show at the fucking Pioneer, you can see every week for free at Third Street oh, anyway. I'm just damn. saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> why pay to get in when you can come to a free fucking show? Oh, it's the finals, though. I know. Matt Bain's in the finals. I wish. I wish I could. Um, I actually wish I could come support you. But, oh, thanks, man. Thank um, you. I mean, I'm probably going to win, so. I would. Maybe. I would come support you, but I kind of got my own thing going on. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Much um, better show, honestly. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean, Christian Reyes was only, uh, uh, has only opened for Janine Garofalo and Pat Oswalt. Uh, Tim Dufresne is only a member of Second City in Chicago. Um... You know, whatever, <laughs> whatever. I was I was only voted uh, best local comic in Northern Nevada, so I mean it's only you know. Or you could or you could go watch Matt Band tell fucking jokes about periods and toilets <laughs> in a British accent. Don't. To be fair, to be fair, nobody at my show uh, will be in, speaking in a British accent, so we don't have that. Sorry, that's terrible. Uh, one last plug. I <laughs> <laughs> had to wait for Wade to finish his. Hey, what night rant. are we, what night are we going to be in Fallon? Uh, June <laughs> June second. June second. June second at the at the, the, daily, at the daily grind. grind. It's a coffee shop slash bar. So bring uh bring. We'll providing an, be providing an hour and a half worth of comedy. That's Drake right. Jim Bettencourt's also on the show. He's yeah, be hosting it. He'll be funny. Um, Wayne is uh headlining. That's right. One more gig and then we'll get the fuck out of here. Um. June sixteenth just added. I showed the flyer earlier. That's over at Ruben's Cantina, and and uh, Aaron Boygon, Boygan, he's on it. John Gallagher, Sean Connors, and uh, 
maybe on Jim Bencourt. Don't know yet. <laughs> He's not convinced. I'll be backpacking. There you go. So, uh, yeah, this has been Drake's Crusty Couch. Motherfucking for Wayne Walsh and Christian Wood. Uh, thanks for watching. Christian never stays to the end. She's always in a hurry, which is fine. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Later.